They hope Ronaldo plays. And they get there. Inside the stadium, that's a day to remember for that little girl, isn't it? She gets to be the one who stands in front of Cristiano Ronaldo. As we pause, as always, for the national anthems of both these nations. And of course, for... Obviously, really unfortunate play on match day three against the Spanish. But more important matters at hand here for Switzerland's defence because here comes Ronaldo and that's a decent save and William puts it in the back of the net from the rebound and Portugal are in front on 15 minutes it was a decent save but he couldn't hold it Gregor Kobel and William was perfectly placed and Portugal lead by a goal to nil but for Switzerland defensively this is another soft poor goal they've given away it happened against the Czech Republic as well there's just no defensive reaction and the really overachieved and for a hand Otavio to William that's beautifully played and a great starting position by Gregor Kobel in the Swiss goal Jota Ronaldo and the shot is deflected wide in the opinion of Otavio not in the opinion of the referee Look threatening Portugal. Although know, Neves was there. Jean Cancelo was pulled back. And Granit Xhaka walked guiltily away from the scene of the crime. And how many times during his career has that happened to Cristiano Ronaldo? He's got the ball out of his feet. He's driving past a, a defender who just simply cynically. Bruno Fernandes, he's done really well. Diogo Jota, Ronaldo, 2-0. attacking goal two three touches covering 60 meters and who's on the end of it Cristiano Ronaldo for 2-0 well I mentioned earlier in the game that Portugal have the ability to turn defenses around and that's exactly what they do here with the ball over the top again he's really retrieved more than, than anything else it's not the, the, the best forward ball you'll ever see but it's chased down it's recovered and it's so unselfish really from Diogo Jota could have thought about taking maybe the shot on himself, he didn't, he laid it on a play for Ronaldo, but there's the forward ball, the flick on, gets them in behind, but Bruno Fernandes has no right really to get to this ball. Livered into the back of the Swiss net by Cristiano Ronaldo. With uh, about 10 minutes of the first half still to play, maybe beginning to fear the worst because Portugal is Jota. Ronaldo, Jota. Bruno Fernandes and Nuno Mendes can pull it back for Jota. Couldn't quite get his feet sorted out, but it doesn't matter because you know who is there. Cristiano Ronaldo scores and Portugal leads Switzerland by three goals to nil. Well, Switzerland are simply getting ripped apart. The last five minutes, they just stepped the tempo of Portugal. And they've moved the crowd to tears. It's just been extraordinary attacking football, helped along the way by some really shoddy Swiss defending. But again, Ronaldo, it's not by accident he's in that position to score the goal. As the play is developing, he's getting himself into goal scoring position. So when the ball breaks, in three times against Switzerland in the Nations League semi final, Ronaldo beautifully touched from Bruno Fernandes to Ronaldo. William strides forward, Ronaldo's on the move. Diogo Jota looking. Lovely ball out, he's Otavio. And Ronaldo! Well, he cannot believe it. And neither can anybody else. Well, it's a peach of a ball in, but his movement once again is outstanding. You've got defenders ball watching. And look at Ronaldo, he's in between defenders, he's on the move, he's onside, he knows he should be scoring. The ball in from Cancelo is outstanding. He just well, read by Mbabu, but poked back into the path of Cristiano Ronaldo. Jota here, Otavio arriving, Jota, Ronaldo wide. Up at the centre halves, he actually holds his ground, he maintains his position on the edge of the penalty area. That means that Schotter has always got the pass on. He normally strikes the ball so cleanly, he's just scuffed that wide and 
You can see why he's devastated. He should have the match ball by now. It has been attacking a... movement from Ronaldo. Goal was ruled out and then William made it one. Ronaldo made it two. Ronaldo made it three and could have made it four or five. Pepe hit the... Ronaldo. One, two with Ronaldo. Beautiful ball by Bruno Fernandes. Octavio, Ronaldo, hat-trick. Well, I think the flag might have gone out. That's waiting his moment to deliver. And Cher just able to stretch and steer the ball away from Ronaldo. Now all they can do, the centre-halves, is recover. This is the risk of, you know, when you're in possession, pushing your full-backs on, you do leave your centre-halves isolated against a really slick counter-attacking team with Ronaldo. Stepped in. Danger here, Bruno Fernandes to Ronaldo. Ronaldo is fouled by Cher. He got that early yellow card from which the first Portuguese goal of the game came. And Ronaldo so quick, so sharp. The way he just moves that ball, the crosser of the ball. To put it out of the play. It's, uh, the... William forward to Ronaldo. I'd be amazed if Ronaldo came off now. If maybe Switzerland had gone. He's here for Sporting. Is a popular replacement his home fans greet his arrival the free kick oh it's a great save from Kobel to deny Cristiano Ronaldo what a super stop by the keeper you can see the reactions of his teammates they know what a good save that was there's plenty of power he doesn't see it so late it's going right in the top corner that is a sensational stop a little flick on from Rafael Liao and denied again Cristiano Ronaldo on the turn from close range goalkeeper all over him so clever from Paul, and they may get it. Rafael Liao charging forward. Cristiano Ronaldo back into Rafael Liao. He can pull it back, looking for Ronaldo, but it's deflected behind by Fabio. Near the same level as Portugal. Might have been a kneecap offside there, but here's Ronaldo. João Palinha, Ronaldo, quiet. He thinks it's a corner kick. Uh, it's going to be a goal post with a header, the outstanding João Cancelo.